everyone once again welcome back to multiplication series now in my previous videos you have already learned how to multiply 2d by 2d 3d by 3d and 4d by 4d now those who have not seen those videos can find the link in the description box below now you must be wondering in case if we have to multiply let's say 2d by 3d or 3d by 4d then which new pattern we will be following right but don't worry we don't have to follow any new pattern let's take few examples to understand these kind of problems now let's multiply 324 by 56 now if you see 324 is a three digit number and 56 is a two digit number right so let's put one zero here now both becomes a three digit number so we can follow 3d by 3d multiplication pattern now you all know what is the pattern it's i cross star it's a three digit number so we have three designs right and after this we repeat this pattern so cross i right so total you have five steps now let's do step number one now i will be doing everything mentally because you have already learned this trick right so now four six is 24 Second step is cross, so multiply and cross and add. So 2 6 are 12 and 4 5 are 20. 20 plus 12 is 32. 32 plus 2 is 34. Now third step is star. So 3 6 are 18 and this becomes 0, right? And 2 5 are 10. 10 plus 18 is 28. 28 plus 3 is 31. Now fourth step, which is cross. So 3 5 are 15 and this is 0. So 15 plus 3 is 18 and the last one is 3 zeros are 0. So you write this one here. So this is your answer. So you can see that how quickly we have done this question, right? So this trick is really very fast. Let's take one more example. Now let's multiply uh, 2367 by 415. Now if you see here, this is a 4 digit number and this is a 3 digit number, right? So if you place one 0 here, it becomes like a 4D by 4D multiplication, right? So you can follow 4D by 4D trick here. You all know what is the pattern which we follow for 4D by 4D multiplication? It's I cross star double cross, right? It's a 4 digit, so we have 4 designs here. Now follow this pattern once again. So you get star cross i. So total you have to follow 7 steps to get your answer. So let's start. The first step is multiply 1's place digit with 1's place digit. So 5 sevens are is 35. Now second step is multiply and cross and add. So 5 six are 30 and 7 ones are 7. So 30 plus 7 is 37 plus 3 will give you 40. Now third step is star. So 3 5s are 15, 4 7s are 28. 28 plus 15 is 43. 43 plus 6 is 49. 49 plus 4 is 53. Now, this one, double cross. So 2 5s are 10 and 0 7s are become 0. So 2 5s are 10 and then uh, multiply and cross here. So 3 1s are 3. So 10 plus 3 is 13. And 4, 6 are 24. 24 plus 13 is 37. Now 37 plus 5 is 42. Now, in case if you get confused like which uh, step you were in, we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So 4 steps are done. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you have to follow this one, right? So 2, 1s are 2. Now this becomes 0, right? And 3 4s are 12. So 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 plus 4 is 18. Now this one. Cross. So 2 4s are 8. This becomes 0. So 8 plus 1 is 9. And the last one is 0 only, right? So this is your final answer. So you can see that how easily we have done this multiplication without doing any working, right? We have done everything mentally. So this trick is really very fast. So you can see that how easily we can multiply any numbers just by using some patterns. 
we don't have to do any working we do everything mentally and we just write the final answer so this trick is really very fast now those who are writing competitive exams for them this trick is very useful i'll give you one example uh, let's say you have to multiply these two numbers and you have to pick the right option from here now you don't have to multiply these two numbers completely to get the right answer uh, you can just do few steps and then you can pick the right option for example this is a 3d by 3d multiplication right so we follow the pattern i cross star three digit so stop here okay you got three designs and then cross and i all right now first step is i so two ones are two now this is the last digit of your answer right so see in which number the last digit is two it's here and here it means these two answers you can strike off right now second step is cross so four ones are four and two fives are ten ten plus four is fourteen so you get fourteen here so the second digit of your answer is four so out of these two you can see in both the answers we have four so we can't decide now so we have to do one more step so the third step is star so three ones are three two sevens are fourteen 14 plus 3 is 17. 17 plus 20 is 37. 37 plus 1 is 38. So the next digit will be 8. So you can check out of these two numbers where we have 8. So yes, we have 8 here. It means this is the right answer. Okay. So like this, you can use this trick for the competitive exams and you can save a lot of time. I hope you like this trick. So that's it for today. See you very soon with few more interesting tricks. Until then, goodbye, take care.